Well, Mr. Kachananuju, a member of the PDP, is still with us here in the studio. Well, you heard Chamberlain there. He said the, the Nigerians are saying maybe we should wait till 2023 before uh, see how you behave over the next four or five years before we see whether or not the PDP is truly sorry. What do you say to those who say that? Nigerians cannot wait to stop and end the suffering they're in now. We also, in apology, apologize for allowing our mistakes to be the reasons why Nigerians are not suffering. Because uh, they say if a lady doesn't have access to two husbands, she cannot be a judge. Today our country is down, all the indices are down, and uh, we have corruption today on a scale unmatched. Since so if I understand you, 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 you're apologizing for the mistakes that you made, but you don't think that any of the mistakes you made contributed to the situation that Nigerians are currently facing? Yes, we believe so. Our mistakes contributed to the reasons Nigerians are in trouble. Because if we didn't make our mistakes, we wouldn't have been so uh, abandoned by Nigerians at elections, which actually brought in this thing that we call a government but it's not a government what you have is a coalition and that coalition succeeded in removing the pdp but did not succeed in transforming itself into a national political party hence the current crisis you're seeing in it right now and we say we're sorry for actually being part of the reasons why this thing had been forced upon you and they're suffering all over the place yes we made a lot of mistakes, but it was never this bad in our country. We never connived with outsiders to kill Nigerians, as you had Lieutenant General uh, uh, Tio, Tio I'm Adenjuma afraid, say. you know, I, I'm afraid that we will not, you know, go delve into that because we do not have time. Those allegations are quite... They are not allegations. What, what he said... They are truth about what has caused what, the deaths in our country a moment, this sir, past three years. A, a moment, sir. I mean, what he says also remains in the realm of allegations. I mean, he's yet to prove, and I think he must... Well, the army said two days ago that but they have reports of such things in some other states, but no report yet from Taraba. That's what the army said on Monday. I do not know that the army accepted that, that's, that what General Danjuma said is true, but, you know, going back to taking responsibility, the question is, I mean, what you seem to be saying is that we take responsibility for the fact that you abandoned us, uh, you, you know, you left us just before the 2015, uh, just at the 2015 elections. So it's more like you're saying that we abandoned you or, you know, for abandoning you, rather than saying that, you know, you're taking responsibility. We for said we take responsibility yeah. for our mistakes, both internally and also externally. Do, do this mistakes, and we believe do they, that those do they, mistakes... Do they include economic mistakes as well? Yes, of course. There were some economic mistakes in our watch. Do they include there mistakes were a lot of misbehaviors do they by members of our party. Do they include mistakes, you know, in corruption as well? Of course, there were. Well, there was. There is corruption, and uh, corruption was act as an act was committed by some of our members, and we have realized that, and we apologize for that. But that does not say that there has never been corruption. There's always been corruption. And we apologize for the corruption that occurred under our regime. So we're not running away from it. Okay. Well, it's a fine place to live. We have to thank you most kindly for coming on Sunrise Daily. Mr. Katron Onuju is a member of the People's Democratic Party, which has just recently issued an apology to Nigerians. Well, that's all we'll have to wrap it up on Sunrise Daily today. Let us know what you think. Uh, you have the feedback handles. Thank you for watching. I'm Malkwe Ogun Yusuf. Thank you for watching, everybody. I'm Ajuri Ngilale. Oh, yes, indeed. That's the show. We'll see you tomorrow. I'm Chamberlain Usta. And indeed, I'm Neil Taig. We enjoy the rest of your day. The views and opinions expressed by guests on this program are those of the maker and do not necessarily reflect the views, opinions, and endorsement of Channels Television.